I would like to show you my favorite fossil locality. It's called Whiskey Bridge in near Bryan, Texas. What you're seeing here is a picture of the outcrop with 200 people on it from one of our field trips that we ran for the Science Museum where we had Earth Science Week here at the Whiskey Bridge locality and we had more than 200 people here. That was a terrific trip. It's considered the most fossiliferous locality here in Texas. And the nice part is it's on public land. It's under a TxDOT bridge and on a supposedly navigable waterway. So it's amazing to think of the Brazos River being navigable. We have excellent fossil identification references. We run frequent field trips by the Houston General Mineral Society. And you get to keep everything you find. The little snail that you see in this picture is called Distortio because he has the last whorl is irregular. So he's a little different. This is a fossil collection that was done for Whiskey Bridge, and it shows some of the 200 species that are found here. Let me show in detail some of these. This is the ever popular shark's teeth in several different varieties. These are nice and crisp and sharp. They haven't been water worn at all. This is a very strange snail called, common name is called a tuba. And then there's one that's irregular and crooked. and is very different. This is another snail, gastropod, with a common name of tusk shell. We have many bivalves here. This one's a cockle, and the smaller one in the corner is called corbula. We have solitary corals and a pea-sized bryozoan, which is kind of this locality. Very cute. To help with fossil identification, we have ID cards that are downloadable from the Houston General Mineral Society website, and we give 50 of the most common species that are found here. But if you're trying to do this in more detail, you can find all 200 on the book that was written by the Emerson, and it's available to download instantaneously from our website or we can, you can order a paper copy for $20. The locality is only 100 miles from Houston. It even has a paved parking lot because the fishermen come here a lot. And it's where Highway 21 crosses the Brazos River. And it's near College Station, Bryan College Station. In preparing your fossils, you frequently need some help. And we have an excellent fossil prep lab. This is a blast cabinet, and we have tools that you use inside the blast cabinet. The blast cabinet just to keep the dust down. We have a micro jackhammer. This is an air-powered tool that vibrates a needle. And we have a micro sandblaster, which blows powdered dolomite. This is the machine we use to produce the, the micro sandblaster effect. I'm Neil Lemberger, president of the Paleo Section, and I have here my neighbor's dog dressed up as a Stegosaurus for Halloween. Thank you very much.